everybody, this is Stephanie from Red Cell Dazzle Rebetry and Yarns LLC. In today's video, we're going to show you how we take our dandelion plants that we harvested from the yard and we dry them out on our drying racks. And then we can save them for winter time for rabbit feed. So right now we're flipping over the dandelions that we had previously harvested. They are drying on drying racks that are elevated. They're made with wire and they have access to full sunshine for pretty much the entire day. They're getting kind of crinkly, you can hear. Flipping over the dandelion plants when they're a little bit thick like this is pretty important. You want them to be quite dry. And one of the things you'll probably notice about the plants is that there's not a lot of these yellow dandelions on here. So we're specifically choosing plants that have not, um, that have not bloomed yet. And the reason why is because if we choose dandelion plants with a lot of flowers on them, this will, uh, they will dry up and then they turn and disperse their seeds when we work with them. So we will show you what we do for uh, harvesting our dandelions. I'm going to walk over to the rabbits. We hear some thumping going on. We keep all the tools in our rabbit area. Here's all the bunnies. So we just grab our bucket. We have a dandelion, just like a weed removing tool. We have our gloves, just a simple plastic ice cream bucket. And we set about in our backyard picking dandelions that have not bloomed yet. So this is an area you could see I've worked in before. And this is a dandelion plant right here that we will harvest. It's actually quite a couple of a couple of them. So we chose a plant that has a Hello, Mama. Hi. Hello, Kitty. We chose a plant that they have a couple buds that aren't harvested. We harvest out the entire root, although the rabbits don't uh, often eat the roots. This one came straight out too. Again, that one hasn't bloomed yet. We have another dandelion plant over here that hasn't bloomed. So rabbits eat all the leaves. They eat the buds. They typically don't eat the roots. And these are great plants to feed, to harvest and to feed your bunny after you dry them out in the winter time. <sighs> oh, this kitty. So that's how we harvest. Then we put them on the drying rack. And once we're done on the drying rack, I will show you what we do. So after you put your dandelion plants on your drying racks, after you've harvested them, we have just this simple bag. This one held onions. You, you can get the bags that hold limes, oranges, grapefruit. There's bags that hold potatoes, but we simply use one of these reusable mesh bags and you're gonna wanna take all the dried dandelions and you place them into the bag. And one of the reasons why you want to use a bag with this much mesh is because you want there to be air. You want there to be, you don't want them super crammed in there. So you're going to need a couple different bags. And um, when you place the dandelions in there, you don't want it to be something where if there's moisture left that it helps mold grow. You don't want moldy dandelions. So you want something very airy like this. This is something we can just hang in the barn or we can hang in the rabbit area 
and um, we just pack these full of the dandelions and then you have uh, dandelions for winter. Hit the subscribe button with the bell, that way you get all of 